Okay, I have to wear my racing cap for this one because we're going to zoom. All right, come with me. We're going into Illustrator. Share my screen. Our best friend, Schmutz on a Path. So I've got that set up. Um, it's still a piece of type. If I said, oh, I want to change that word, I can put something else in here or whatever. But let's leave it as Schmutz. You can put whatever you want. Um, now what I want to do is come up to Object and Create Outlines. Now, I just want to point out, you'll notice I can do create outlines right now. However, but if I'm like that and I try to go create outlines, it won't let me because I'm treating it like a piece of text. So I've got to treat it like an object, like an object. So I'm just going to click on it once, get it selected like that. And you'll notice if you find yourself thinking, I don't even like the path that it's on. Well, fix it, change it. You can do whatever you want to change the way that everything works in here. So you've got lots of control. But you can't change this word once you create outlines. After that, it's no longer type. It's just um, outlines. It's just paths. So that's what that looks like. If you wanted to be a type designer, this is what you'd be looking at all day long. Points and paths. Pretty great, actually. So that hopefully gives you a clear sense of how that works. Now, what I'm going to do is get into a new menu. I want to point something out. If I grab everybody here and say it's filled with black. Let's fill that with white and put a big fat pink stroke on that. Pink and 20 points. Well, you'll notice how rotten that looks. Like you can't even read that. It's preposterously bad. So you'll see this a lot in the marketplace. People just pe create a piece of type, put a stroke around the outside and think that that's okay. It ain't, but I wanna show you how to fix it. You could of course clone this piece of type put another one on top of it with no stroke and have two things. I want to show you how to do it in one thing. So we're going to go into the appearance menu right there. I'm going to come back up here, select all, turn off my fill, turn off my stroke. I'm not going to do it up here. I'm going to do it down here in the appearance menu. Hamburger menu on the appearance menu lets me add a new fill. And I'm going to make that white. And then it lets me add a new stroke. Add new stroke. And I'm gonna make it the same magenta. And I'm gonna make it 20 points, just like we did before. And you're gonna say, that's gonna look just as stupid as it did before. Yeah, it does right now, but watch this. My stroke right now is on top of my fill. I'm gonna grab that stroke and just clicking on that thing and dragging it down. I pull it under the fill right there. Uh, muh. Good. Doesn't that look cool? So then you can say, I want to put another stroke on there. It has to be bigger than the one that you made already. So if this one is 20, this one's got to be like 40. And now it's a monster. Whoops, I don't have anything selected. That would help. <laughs> Let's put a stroke on that one like that. 40 points. Whoa. And it looks like poo until you say put that under my pink stroke my magenta stroke and now it's starting to look very groovy baby hope you like that thing it's kind of a cool trick i'll talk to you later